Hello kings and queens, welcome back to my channel. My name is Trinity and you can call me Trinity. That's cool. So my hair is all tied up. If you look at my previous video, which I'll have linked in the description or um, up here somewhere, you will see how I style my blonde TWA. Yes, I'm still blonde. Yes, my hair is still short. Um, but yeah, I just styled it and I just tied this on top of it so y'all wouldn't see me in my wig cap. Yeah. As you can see, I've already done my eyebrows and my foundation is already done, but I did not do my concealer, contour, highlight, all that yet. Um, just to kind of speed things along. This is red brick. And I'm literally going to put her all over my lid. I'm using a, um, I think this is a BH Cosmic. Nope, this is actually a Morphe brush. Hmm. Wow. It's a Morphe brush. Um, I am literally not being precise at all. I am just putting this all over my lid. So I have been working at MAC since end of February, beginning of March. Yeah, um, I am really enjoying it. Life is good. For It's a great opportunity for any makeup artist to be able to work for a MAC, a great company. And you're basically, this is going to be a great learning experience for me, for me to expand my own brand and just, you know, learn from uh, even more experienced people. Uh, yeah, so I'm really excited. I am happy about the opportunity. I've been really busy lately, even with my own personal like freelancing stuff has been going ex extremely well since I started working there. I don't know if there's any correlation, but I have you know, gain some clients from the store. Mm. What else is new? Uh, no new relationship stuff to update you guys on. Um, I'm still dating. Yes, I've gone on a few dates. Oh, let me tell you what I'm doing now. So now I'm taking Devil Blush by MAC. So now I'm taking Devil Blush and I am just going to raise that into my crease just a little more. Has a little more red in it than the um, red brick. So I'm just going to slowly fade it up. Um, what else? Yeah, I've just been dating. Some funny stories about that. I should probably do some story times on some of these gentlemen that I have been running into lately. <laughs> Um, yeah, some stories y'all wouldn't even, y'all wouldn't even believe, y'all. Um, what else is new? Nothing is really new, guys, like, honestly, <laughs> nothing is really, really new. Uh, everything's pretty much the same, other than me working a lot lately. Um... Trying to think. Oh, I've had so many new opportunities come up. I'm just out here working, y'all. Like, I really don't have much to update you on other than the fact that I just started working at Mac because I've been working so much lately. And to the point where I was getting extremely stressed out for a minute. But. I have the best mother in the freaking world who always seems to help me when I start to get stressed out and start to worry. So um, since my eyeshadow is very simple today, I'm gonna go dramatic with the lashes. So I'm gonna put these two on. Hey, sorry guys, totally forgot 
to um, cut the camera back on. But all I did was put my lashes on and um, put some concealer under my eyes. It's MAC um, Pro Longwear Concealer in NC45. And I'm just mixing it with the LA Girls Pro Concealer in the color Warm Honey. I don't know why, but I like these two concealers together. And now I'm gonna blend it out, blend it out, blend it out, blend it out. So recently, I have been using the Tarte Shape Tape. That's all my bags. Keep the head up. Um, I have been using the Tarte Shape Tape. I'm running low on it. Um, and I just, I don't know, I like trying new concealers. But I really like that one because you don't have to set it. And I prefer to use it without setting it because it gets this weird... I don't know the first time I used it and I said it it was under my eye I don't know like kind of like this flashback thing I don't know maybe it's something that's in the concealer which is why they say you don't need to set it well listen to them when they say you don't need to set it okay because Trinity did not listen so like girl it was a mess girl it was a mess it was a mess all right, so I'm going to go in with my L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte. I definitely mentioned this before. I'm going to go in with that. I'm going to go in with this one too. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. I was looking over here for a brush. But I'm going to go in with this to um, contour. I'm going to bronze myself up a little bit. And then I go in with a different color. I go in with this color, like loosely all around. Just to warm me up a bit. Because it's not dark enough to give me the contour that I like. So I just use it on the outskirts of my face. Um, I haven't really been cream contouring lately. Okay, this is very random. But I wanted to also, and they told me that this. Honest Beauty. They told me I didn't have any flashbacks girl they told me that it didn't have any flashback girl do not listen to them that thing got flashback like a mug i was so heated look how you just gonna lie to me like that it was a su his suggestion too at alta i was like hey i'm looking for a setting powder right now um that doesn't have any flashback and he was like oh yeah the honest beauty girl please I used it on a client. Honey, I had to fix that. So now I'm going in with my MAC Studio Fix in NW58. It's just because it's a dark enough color. But the contour looks good on me. Um, I try not to use too much because it is still a foundation. And I don't need a lot more coverage. I just really like the color. And I'm going to use all the same colors that I use on my lid underneath. So now I'm going in with the Devil Blush. Fix Plus. Spray this little brush. This is like a little detail brush. Okay, so this is one of my palettes that I made um, from MAC. But this is this is Devil Blush and this is Raisin. Two favorite black girl friendly blushes that I love to use all the time on myself and on my clients. Literally. If you are dark skin or brown skin and you don't have these blushes yet. 
I don't know what you're waiting on. For highlight, I'm going in with my good old faithfuls, my gold deposit, then I'm gonna layer cheeky bronze on top of that. And a little trick that I've been doing lately that I learned from my manager um, is instead of, a lot of times with my highlight, I used to go up and over the brow, but now I faded into my eyeshadow here and y'all y'all will see at the end it just looks so good so unbelievably good already and that's one layer so i'm gonna try to, to not go too heavy <laughs> because we all know i tend to go heavy on highlight but now i'm going in with cheeky bronze on top fading it in Y'all see that? Crazy. Oh, and another thing I've been changing is I haven't been going all the way up the strip of my nose for highlight. Um, I'm just going to, I hit the tip of my nose and I hit right there at the dent. I always love to put Moonstone on last, just a little bit, because it always takes my highlight since it is cool toned and I normally use warm toned um, highlighters, it always takes my highlight from like extra to extra as fuck. You know what I mean? Like, it just looks like I'm dripping in gold. You know what I mean? You see it? Ooh. Wee. But I'm gonna do my usual with the color. Dark skin girl, brown skin girl, friendly. I always say you should have chestnut in your makeup bag because it literally can make any lipstick brown girl friendly. And I'm not even boosting. Especially if you like a nude color. Especially if you like a nude color, but it's a little too, uh, like this one. <laughs> this is Yash from MAC. One of my favorite nudes. But you see how light she is? <laughs> then we're going to top it off. That's just how I choose to blend out my lipstick. I don't know why. We top it off with spice lip gloss on top. Oh y'all. Y'all are welcome. You're welcome. Uh, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. I told you I was gonna do something really simple, something super easy. Um, but you know, I'm just going to a little kickback, like nothing too much, but I want it to look cute too. I uh, hope you guys really enjoyed this little chit chat to kind of get updated with me. I know I didn't talk about much because I literally have just been consumed with working, but I just hope you guys are excited to see my face again. <laughs> it's the true struggle trying to balance everything right now. Um, but I'm figuring it out. Y'all already know. Always remember, be positive, be great, and be you. Later.